Okay, my heroes, today we'll continue with the second lesson in chapter 5, writing expressions. What we're going to do today, we will solve questions writing phrases as expressions. And before we start, I want to ask a question, but first, open your books, page, what is the page? 213. Yes, thank you, Ahmed. Go ahead, everyone. Open your books, page 213. Okay, I will ask a question. Uh, Fahad and Abdurrahman, lower your hands, please. When I ask the question, you can raise your hand. I didn't ask yet. Abdurrahman, lower your hand. Okay, the question is X minus 5. In this expression, what is the coefficient of this expression? What is the coefficient? Anyone? What teacher? What is the coefficient here? Um, coefficient is... So this is number what? The confession is uh, five. Do not use your mic. Just raise your hand. Ahmed? The confession is five. No. Teacher, can I answer them first? Yes, Ferris. It's X. No. Uh, why? Okay, I'll tell you. Okay, my heroes, the coefficient is the number multiplied by the variable. The numerical factor in this term. This term, it's only x. So, what is the number that we are multiplying by x? Nothing. No. It's one. What? So the coefficient is one. Okay, my heroes. So the coefficient is one. And now x minus five is this x less than five or five less than x? Is it x less than 5 or 5 less than x? This quantity. Anyone? So less than 5? 5 uh, less than x? Yes, exactly. 5 less than x. Because after less than, we use the number after less than first. And less than means subtraction. Of course, we cannot change the order. Okay, now let's start here and we will start with question number 11. I will solve question number 11 for you. The expression, uh, sorry. The expression represents the amount of change you receive after buying and sandwiches explain what uh, what each part of the expression represents so let's take the first one question 11 at f the first thing that we should know what is the whole expression the whole expression is the amount of change you get after you buy and sandwiches after you buy the sandwiches you need 
So this is the, the number or the amount of money you get back after you buy what you need to buy. Now, let's take it step by step. What is the 10? The 10 is what you have. So you have $10. And what is 5.25N? Five point two five N is the total cost This is the price of what you buy What is five point two five five and twenty five hundreds? What is this? Anyone? What is this number? What's the meaning of this number? What is the question? Question? What is the meaning of this number in the question? The decimal point? No, no, no. It's Five. the price Five. of one sandwich. This is the price of one sandwich. And what is the N? Anyone? Yes. This is my question. Is the N? Is the N what this is the variable. Is yes, the variable here, N. In this question exactly. Means what? It's the number of sandwiches, the total number of sandwiches. This is the number of sandwiches that you buy. Okay. So now you understand. Again, I'll do it again. The whole expression is what you get after you buy the the remainder the rest the remaining amount of money that you get after you buy what you need and the 10 is what you have the total money in your pocket now and 5.25 n 5 and 2500 n this is the cost the total cost of what you buy the total cost of all sandwiches you buy. The number 5 and 25 hundreds is the price of one sandwich. And of course, N is number of sandwiches. You can do the same with question number 12 and 13. So we don't need to solve these questions. Now you know how to do it. Exactly as we did in question 11. You should explain what each part in the expression represents. Any problems? Okay, now let's move no. to the next question. Leah? Yes, teacher, I'm Leah here. Go ahead. Five less question. than eight. What is the expression? Okay, five plus than eight. Five minus eight. Are you sure? After less, you should use the number after five. less than first. So? So, 8 minus 5. Exactly. Thank you, Leo. 3. No, I don't need the value. Okay. I need the expression, and the expression is 8 minus 5. Abdullah Shakaq? Abdullah Ali Shakaq? Abdullah Shukak. Okay, you have a note. Abdul Jabbar. Yes, mister. Go ahead. The product of 3 and 12. Uh, 
plus product means plus addition multiplication multiplication yes so what is the expression 3 multiplied by 12 excellent and we can use it using multiplication simple and we can use the multiplication dot so we can write it 3 times 12 Abdul Aziz Shahab Yes. 28 divided by 7. What is divided 30. by? What do we... What, what uh, do uh, we divide. Mean? Yes, division. So, we can write it. 28 divided by 7. Or we can write it as a fraction. 28 in the, in the top and 7 down. Yes. Okay. Abdul Aziz, the next one. The total of 6 and 10. Uh, uh, plus. Yes, give me the expression. 6 plus 10. Excellent. 6 plus 10. Thank you, Abdul Aziz. Abdullah Majid al Shakaqiq. Yes, teacher. Go ahead, Abdullah. 20 minus. Uh, question 4. 18. Oh, 18. 3 fewer than 18. 3, uh, 18 minus 3. Excellent. Exactly. 18 minus 3. We use the number after fewer than first. Omar al Tamim? Yes, Mr. Question 19. Omar, I cannot hear you. Please use your mic. Yes, master. Do not keep saying yes, master. Go ahead. Um, 17 okay. added to 15. Uh, plus. Yes. Give me the expression. 17 uh, plus 15. Yes. But for this one, we have the 15 and we add 17 to 15. So it's 15 plus 17. And of course, if you write 17 plus 15, it's correct because you can change the order in addition. Yes. So both are correct. Thank you, Omar. Amir. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Question 20? Yes, teacher. Go ahead, 13. directly. Yes, I'm listening. Subtract, subtracted from a number, the, a number X. Yes. Uh, 13, um, subtract 3. Uh, I... Subtracted from means subtraction, right? Yeah. Okay, so it's 13 minus x or x minus 13? 13 minus x. Are you sure? Because we need to subtract from the x. Oh, Thir yes. So? X. Yes. And then... Uh, x minus, minus uh, 13. Two. Excellent. And yes. we cannot change the order in subtraction. Thank you, my hero. So we start with the number after subtracted from. Okay. Fahad? Fahad al Muammar? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes, Fahad, I know. Go ahead. Five times, uh, five the, number times the number D. Yes. Uh, we will. Um, what is the meaning of times? Times. And, uh, multiply. Multiplication, multiply? yes. So? Yeah. Uh, so we will. 5 multiplied D. Uh, D what? Means 5 what? multiplied by D. Or we can write it 5D. 
First D, okay. Yes, thank First you, my dear. Welcome, teacher. So the name? Teacher, me find Yes, Mr. I'm Rada Naim. Okay, Rada. Go ahead. Uh, it will be uh, number 22. Yes. Okay. It will be 18 divided by 8. Excellent. Quotient of means divide. So, 18 divided by A. And we cannot change the order. Thank you, Abda. Thank you, Rada. Uh, there's someone asking. Any problems? Mister, uh, the 5, uh, it will be multiply, 5 multiply D. Yes. Okay. But you put, but you put 5 D. Okay. Uh, do you remember when I said that uh, 2x means 2 times x? Right? Yes, but you didn't write even point. Okay, D. it's the same as 2x. It's the same. Okay? Okay. 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 Let's continue. Faris? 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 Okay, Faris, you have a note. Abdurrahman and Fawzi, Abdurrahman Safran. Yes, teacher. Go ahead. Uh, the difference of number Z, S, and Z. Mm -hmm. It's not the difference. Excellent. It's subtraction, it's so. S, no, T, or no, T, R, S, uh, yeah, no, six minuses. Okay, difference of means subtraction, and you should write them in the same order. Like six is uh, yes. eight minus eight. Exactly. Yes. Thank you, Ahmed Yusuf. The teacher and father. Yes, teacher. Go ahead. Okay, Ferris, meet your mic. I will ask you again. Seven increased by a number W. Um, uh, w plus seven. Excellent. But here, as you see, we have seven already, and we increase it by a number W. So it should be seven. Uh, w plus seven. Yes, it's correct if you say W plus 7. But here, as I said, you have 7. And you increase it by W. So you have 7 first. Then you increase it by W. So 7 plus W. Yes. And of course, W plus 7 is right. Because in addition, we can change the order. Yes, we can. Okay, Ferris? Yes, teacher. Okay, first, when I ask you, please respond quickly. Go ahead. A, a number, number T cubed. A number T cubed. Okay, teacher, where is the question? Uh, I need the expression. A number T cubed. Uh, can you help me, teacher? Of I course. Don't get it. Do you know the meaning of cubed? Um, no, I don't. Okay. Uh, do you know the meaning of squared? Um, a little. Okay. Remember. This is x squared. This is x cubed. Now, do you remember? Yes, yes. Now I remember. So... So t cubed. Um, how do I know? T which, to uh, the power. Like? Power two. No, power two means a square. Here, cube. Uh, how power one? No, no, no. Power three. 
okay? So yeah, it's t fine. raised to the power three because t cubed means to the power three multiplied by itself three times. Thank you, Faris. You're welcome, teacher. Okay, my heroes, any problems? No. No, no, no. Okay. Easy. Is there anyone writing? No. No. Oh, no, 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 no. Teacher, no. No, no, no. Okay, now I'll send to Teacher. you the link. Don't. Yes, the difference. 100, 100 plus. Uh, yes, seven. plus. Difference means plus. Six. No, difference means subtraction. So 100 minus W. Minus. Okay, Salem. Okay, solve this, the next one. The sum of 6 and X. Uh, uh, X? Yes. Plus. Excellent. Sum means plus. So addition. X plus six. Thank you, Salem. You're welcome. Abdullah Dukhi. Abdullah Dukhi. Yeah. The quotient of Y and five. The quotient means. Yes. Why multiply five? Oh, quotient, not multiplication. Quotient uh, means no. Okay, just a second. Do you remember this table? It's in your book. Do you remember the table? As you see here, quotient means Divide. division. So, what is the correct choice? It's y divided by 5. Okay, Abdullah? Okay. Okay, solve the next question, Abdullah. Abdullah Abdukhi, go ahead. Yes, 5 this time, 5 times a number G. Okay, what is 5 times the number G? Is 5 times G is 5G. Now, what is 4 less than 5G? Minus four. Exactly. Thank you, my hero. Okay, the next question. Five more than the product of W and nine. Abdullah Ali Shakak. Teacher, the answer is up. Yes? We can see the answer. The green oh. Side. oh, oh, I'm sorry. Okay, the product of W and 9 is 9W. You add 5 to this, so 9W plus 5. Okay, I should hide the answer. Okay, the next question. Abdullah Shakak. Faris? Faris? Teacher, Adar Shagag and Faris are not in the session. Okay. My heroes, do not leave the session before I tell you. Okay, I will give you the answers for the rest. Six fewer than seven teacher? times B. So, seven B, and you need six fewer than this, so it will be seven B minus six. Seven times... The difference of y and 4, the difference means subtraction, so y minus 4 multiplied by 7, so it will be 7 times 
the quantity y minus 4 and twice h increased by 5 twice means times 2 so 2h plus 5 a number cubed plus 8 so n cubed plus 8 any problems any questions no teacher but this should finish Can yes we hear? okay okay thank you everyone have a nice weekend. Bye. See you next week and goodbye. Bye.